Perplexity AI just announced a major update called Spaces. And in this video, I'm going to explain what exactly are Perplexity Spaces and also provide a real world example of how you can use them. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission here is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But now let's dive back into Perplexity Spaces. So what are perplexity spaces? Now, before I dive into that, if you've never heard of perplexity, this is an AI powered search engine that's really looking to compete with Google, Search GPT from OpenAI. It's more catered towards the research element, but according to Google Trends, the term perplexity has shot up quite a bit over the past 12 months. So it is gaining popularity among the AI community and general population. Now, when it comes to spaces, there's a whole page on Perplexity's website. I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. They have a short little video demo walkthrough here of what it looks like inside Perplexity spaces. But first of all, they define this as a tailored knowledge hub with both web and personal file searches. Now, I like to think of this as a combination of custom GPTs, Claude projects, and also Notebook LM, if you're familiar with those tools, right? Custom GPTs are a tailored version of ChatGPT. Claude project. So if I go in to click inside a Claude project, this is a tailored version of Claude where you can upload all of this knowledge on the right. And then similar to Notebook LM, you can upload a ton of different sources and then do a bunch of different functionalities with all the different sources that you upload. And from my perspective, that is what Perplexity Spaces is. It's a combination of all of those. And you can also do a web search with all that provided knowledge. So there's all this other information here about Perplexity Spaces. One of the common questions is, is this a exclusive, excuse me, I can't say this, is this exclusive to members of Perplexity Pro? And no, you can access this on the free version of Perplexity if you just log, go to perplexity.ai. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to have an account for this, but just try it if you don't. And now you'll see an option for spaces. If you click spaces, this is what it looks like. Now, the only thing here is if you are a member of Perplexity Pro, I'm gonna do a quick command F here. Uh, just to be 100% sure about this. So it says, upload files to your space. So if you're a Perplexity Pro and Enterprise Pro user, you can upload files to each space you create and keep them there until you choose to remove them. So that is the difference, is that with Perplexity Pro, it looks like you can upload files. So let's see what this looks like in real time. Now, one other important thing I forgot to mention on this page, if you scroll to the bottom here, there's five practical prompts for Perplexity Pro users. So it gives you these real world applications where you can use these spaces for, right? Planning a business trip. And it has a little uh, demo walkthrough of how that would look like. Travel logistics, and it includes all these prompts you can use as well. Home renovations, another good one. Summarize lecture content, similar to Notebook LM, right? Clarify confusing topics. You can use ChatGPT or Claude to do that as well. So I just wanted to call that out here, but now let's actually dive into Perplexity and create a space, and I'm gonna walk you through how I do this. So again, if you open up Perplexity and click Spaces, this is what your screen will look like right here. And the nice part is they have a few examples you can reference, like the Art of War review. They show you how they have a file uploaded, custom instructions. So if you need help, I would look at one of the examples they give you. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click Spaces, click Create a Space. And in this example, I'm gonna create my own personal research assistant. Now I work in the fields of AI, marketing, SEO, uh, everything related to digital marketing and AI. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna name this uh, AI and marketing research assistant. Since perplexity really is known for that research element. You can add an emoji if you want. I'm just gonna do that one. You can add a description. So you can say uh, my personal research assistant for AI, SEO, PPC, and all things marketing. And then here you can add your own AI model for what you want it to use. And so you'll notice we have options for GPT-40, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus, and then what's called Sonar. These are perplexities models trained off of Llama 3.1. So Llama being Meta, who owns Facebook and Instagram. So you can choose any model that you want here. I'm just gonna leave it on default for now. But again, that's great that you can customize those models. And here we have custom instructions. So if you've ever used a Claude project or a custom GPT, you'll, you have this ability to add custom instructions. And so I 
I went ahead and created this before I recorded this ep or before I recorded this video. And here's what I'm adding for my custom instructions. And again, yours will look different depending on what kind of space that you create. I said, you will be an agent acting as my research assistant to help me stay updated in the industries of SEO, AI, PPC, and everything related to marketing. In all of your outputs, please follow the provided instructions. Use the provided knowledge to understand my industries, include relevant statistics and examples in your responses. Ensure your responses are understandable. Use a tone that shows expertise and seriousness. And then I left this in here because really guys, there's all these different words and phrases that ChatGPT, Claude, all these AI models use. So I like to just throw this in here. I'm not sure it's a big deal though. And I'm gonna click continue. And so here is my space now, the AI marketing and research assistant. And when I click this, the first thing that comes to my mind is this almost looks identical to a Claude project. As you'll see, this is what a Claude project looks like. And this is what a perplexity space looks like. So what you can do right away is you can actually invite people to this space. So if I click invite, you can invite contributors via email. Looks like you can only invite up to five uh, just from the looks of this right now. Um, but if I click edit under instructions, these are what I just filled out as part of the settings. And also here is files. This is where you can upload the knowledge in your space that can be used as a source for new threads. So what I'm going to do is I already have a few files ready to go. So if you click that plus button here, you'll see an option either here for add files or add files right here. And if you click add files, what I'm going to do first is upload a PDF of my LinkedIn. And yes, you can save a PDF of your LinkedIn profile if you didn't know that. Now, the first thing that comes to my head though is it's kind of frustrating as you can't add text documents, you can't add YouTube videos like or other things that you can add in it's something like Notebook LM. So it looks very limited from that aspect. And I'm gonna add one more file, uh, which is just a bio of just myself, my background, under, so it better understands my writing tone, where I'm coming from. And again, you can upload here, I believe up to 50 files. I saw that somewhere, but I'm just gonna leave it at two for now. And so here's where it gets to the good part. This looks like your typical thing inside perplexity when you're adding a thread or just doing a search. So here's the option again for the pro search or the regular search, I'm gonna leave it on pro. Uh, and you can click web and files. So this is kind of cool. You can choose your sources, right? If you only want it to use your files, you can do that. If you only want it to use the web, you can do that. Or I would recommend just leaving this on both as that's the whole, uh, I guess, benefit of this perplexity space is to have both the web and your files uploaded so it understands your knowledge. And you can also attach files here. Now, this is part of the pro plan, so you can't do this on the free plan according to that page from Perplexity's website. But that's not, I don't know if this is a big deal, honestly, guys, in my opinion. I'm just gonna leave this uh, off. I'm not gonna attach anything as I just uploaded things to my knowledge graph here. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm just gonna ask for, um, help me better understand Google's latest algorithm update just the first random thing that popped into my head. And so now it's doing a pro search to help me better understand Google's latest algorithm update. And the purpose of this entire space, right, if you guys are starting to follow along here, is I now have my personal research assistant and I've trained it using the knowledge that I've uploaded to better understand who I am, my background, how I write, what I'm interested in, what I've done, et cetera, et cetera. And so here it gives me an answer. So it says, you, you can see my sources are right here. And it also searched the web for relevant sources, search engine land, search engine journal, right? Two credible publications in the SEO space. And here it talks about the August 2024 core update, which was August 15th. So that's still pretty recent. And I believe that actually was the latest algorithm update. And it gives me all these bullet points along with sources, the important things I need to know. And then what I also like about perplexities, you can even rewrite this if you want. Uh, you can give it a helpful, not helpful. We see this in chat GPT as well. I like the related element here. How does the August 2024 update differ from previous updates? So you can go down the rabbit hole on all these related options and you can just keep going and going with all of these searches. So I really like that aspect. But the other cool thing here is let's say you wanna convert this to a page. Now, if you don't know what Perplexity pages are, I'd recommend watching my video about Perplexity Pro where I explain this in more detail. I also have a video about indexing your website on Perplexity. Uh, so I'll leave those in the video description below as well. But you can also convert this to a page. And if you convert this to a page, this is essentially gonna write an AI generated article based on that search. So here it says, Understanding Google's latest algorithm update curated by Ryan Dozer AI. 
And so here it's uh, generating a full perplexity page based on that search that I performed. And so that's just another cool feature of what you can do inside perplexity spaces. You can use those searches and then also convert them to pages. But I'll stop right there. There's a lot more that I could dive into probably with perplexity spaces. If you guys have any thoughts on this or if you tried this, let me know in the comments below what use cases you guys are using perplexity spaces for. Uh, but with that being said, appreciate you all if you've made it this far. If you found value in this type of video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.